ballast water is an important environmental issue. This new training package is aimed at all those involved in ensuring compliance with the IMO Ballast Water Management Convention. Computer graphics illustrate the principles of ballast water exchange and laboratory filming explains the test procedures that treatment systems must undergo to obtain type approval. The training explains that dates for compliance vary and highlights the importance of the ballast water management plan. Safe operations are emphasised throughout, as are crew training and the need for accurate record keeping. The Convention specifies two standards, D1 and D2. D1 will be phased out in favour of D2 over the next few years. Meeting D1 requires ballast water exchange to pump through three times the volume of each tank, either via flow-through, dilution or sequential methods. Meeting D2 requires a ballast water treatment system which treats the water to the approved standard. All ships are required to have a ballast water management plan and those above 400 GT are subject to surveys. It's the master's responsibility to ensure that the plan is properly implemented. Crew training in the use and maintenance of these systems is also a key issue. The USA has its own legislation on ballast water and vessels trading to the USA should ensure they comply with the relevant requirements. Failure to do so means that a vessel may be detained, potentially incurring additional costs. The Ballast Water Convention specifies a timeline for compliance. It's imperative that owners, operators and ship's crew are clear about the correct procedures to be followed. Videotel's ballast water management provides comprehensive and holistic training on the issues surrounding this important topic. This training package includes a video, workbook and e-learning CBT.